the view, the public health, the scientists, what do they think about e-cigarettes? Um, some are very pro e-cigarette, some are very uh, anti-e-cigarette. Why, why would we embrace a product that's being marketed just how the cigarette manufacturers have marketed the product? Um, I'd like to take a step back and say, let's look at the evidence. That where we have here. Um, E-cigarettes are definitely a product that uh, have fewer toxins than cigarette smoking, but it depends how those products are used. So, you know, while there might be some potential to help an adult cigarette smoker that's tried everything in the world to, to quit and has been unsuccessful uh, to get off of cigarettes, there's other people that are using them to maybe not quit smoking. Maybe it's a reason for them, you know, I've cut back a few cigarettes, I'm using my e-cigarette to help fill in the gaps. So, uh, uh, you know, I'm doing myself a favor, whereas those individuals are probably not doing themselves much good. So what the right answer is, people ask, are e-cigarettes good or bad to me? And I. I don't think that's the right question. I think the question should be under what conditions can e-cigarettes be beneficial? There may be no conditions or there may be lots of conditions, but the goal, goal of we as scientists are to try to put an evidence base to try to understand what those conditions are and then that is what we would try to put forward to say we should strive to implement these conditions because yeah, at the end of the day, 480,000 deaths each year from cigarette smoking. And you know we see a third of cancer deaths are caused by cigarette smoking, we know it's terrible. It's a lethal, deadly, addictive product. And anything that we can do to try to reduce that disease burden as fast and as quickly and by as much and for as many people as possible is why we get up in the morning and come to work.